welcome to my house. I'm Frumpy Buckle, you're fisking with Uncle Buck, and we just finished up uh, the Pike Hunt 1 mission, and that the, was the second one that we did in the Mastering missions. So we're about to get started on Pike Hunt 2, which is going to be our third mission there, and we're going after a little bit beefier pike this time. Some real pike. We're going after the northern pike. We're going after um, the muskie. <clears throat> and we're going to go after these guys with a jig bait. Shad. We're going to fish a shad on a jig. So I've got all my weapons set up um, for all different all different sizes of shads and jig heads. So we're going to jump over there. Take a look at the sticks that I'm taking with me. Alright. Let's go to inventory buck. Well, actually, let's talk about let's talk about our what we got to catch first. All okay, right, guys. So we're going to Quadskin first, and we need to get a chain pickerel there, 3.31 pounds or 1.5 kilograms. We got to catch one bigger than that. Then we're gonna head off to White Moose, and we're going to, we need to catch a Northern Pike that's 11.1 pounds or five kilograms. So we're gonna have to get him. Then we're going to head to St. Croix. St. Croix, we're looking for a muskie, 22.1 or 10 kilograms. And then we also got to catch a muskie at St. Croix, um, 33.1 pound, and that's 15 kilograms. So I think if we just go out there and get the big muskie at St. Croix, that should knock off. If we catch the 33 pounder, it should be the same thing as what we did at Emerald, right? You know, we catch the big trophy and it knocks off the boat there. So I think that's probably how it's going to work. So hopefully we won't have to catch two, two musky up there. <clears throat> but you know we might get the 22 pounder first before we get the big guy. Let's hope we get the big guy first, huh? What do you say? All right, guys. So let's jump over. Let's take a look at my sticks. What kind of weapons we're taking here today? Oh, gotta get you out of the way, Buck. Well, that's what we need to do this first, and then this. There we go. That works. You're out of the way now. Nobody likes looking at you anyway. Alright. Oh, we're gonna have to. Un That's gonna drive me nuts. Anyway, in the first position, I'm not. I, I didn't change my weapons up, guys. I just changed the, how I got them rigged. Alright, so in this guy here for the night feather, I threw on a quarter ounce jig head number one hook with a one inch shad. So, that's a little guy. Right? That. That's the deal. All right, on the jig winner, I went with a half ounce, um, three aught jig head, and that allowed us to put a three inch. And I went with the I went with the the three inch um, grass green on this guy. All right, so then position three is my big stick. Now on him, we got third ounce because again, this is a big stick, but he he can't take a lot of weight. You know, this is a, this is for small gear. Small stuff. I, I love this rod. All right. So what we did here was I threw a uh, third ounce, but a big hook. So it's very light with a big hook. So I'm going after big fish with a small shad. This is only, and I'm with because I got a six odd on here. And it's only a third ounce, and I went with a six inch rose and white rib shad. All right, guys. Now this this guy here is a killer shad. All right, well, there's our Omni, but we didn't do nothing with him. We're just keeping him along with us. Now, on the value cast, now on the value cast, I went with a three-quarter ounce jig head. Uh, that's a three-aught hook on him, and a four-ounce, or a four-ounce, a four-inch um, yellow shad on him. Okay, now for our Lux caster, now he's a 23-pounder, all right? I put the one and one-sixteenth, six-aught. In other words, I'm going for, going for the big guy. This is for that big muskie. Right, and we got a six inch black shot on him. Right, and the final stick, he's the big guy, went with a two ounce, but I went smaller on the hook size here, two ounce, four aught here, and did the purple rib. Right, so we're looking at we've got a four aught hook, we got a six aught hook, we got a three aught hook. Um, that's a, we got a six aught hook three aught and a number one so we kind of got the gambit covered here everything's loaded up with a jig head and shads so with that being said the mission states that we need to go to Quanskin. so let's go over to the globe let's go to Quanskin here and of course i don't have a license for Quanskin. 
So we're gonna have to buy one of them real fast. Oh, five grand, Atimara. Okay, well we're gonna have to stay a little bit down there. Make that make that five grand back. All right, close, close. We got everything. Let's close this guy up. Oh, one more check at the inventory. Let's go to the garage, Buck. Got everything. That's in good shape. Good, 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 good. All right, we're good. All right, back to the globe. Good there. We got a license. All right, fellas. I. See you down at Quanskin. Okay, guys. I made it. We are here. Oh, I didn't do that there. Didn't uh, control L. I'm here. Hello. All right, we're gonna we're gonna jump in here. We're gonna pull the parachute on Pelican Hut. All right, we're gonna go in there because I have one spot out here. We're gonna walk. We're gonna walk out here to the end of this sky right out here. Oh, you can see where I'm pointing. Okay, good. I'm gonna walk all the way out to the end of this boardwalk and you can, this little this little channel that goes back down in here. There's a lot of chain pickerel all through this area right here. This is a very good bass spot right in here too. And you can turn around from there and fish just to the right hand side of these big trees right here too. And you can pull up some nice uh, uni largemouth over there. All right, so that's where we're headed in. We're going in there. Let's go. We're here. <clears throat> all right, we're headed out this way. Look here. All right, we get all the way out here to the end. This is where I'd actually fish my bass tournament at, guys. Right out here. We go to the end here. This is nice. You got that area right out in there. Let's, let's get the small guy out here right off the bat. So you got you got all this area right through here. This is real good bass in here. Want some bass in there? Don't be afraid to fish inside of these little bass. <laughs> Don't be afraid to fish in them really bad. Then down here is a hole. This is a secret hole down in there. You just need to land them left and right. Now, there's also the chain pickles all through here along this side and all along through this side. So, we're going to fish here for a while. We're just going to basically throw her down here. There's a big hole down in there. We're going to start down there with this guy. I'm going to start it off with the little guy. He should handle a three pounder. And I got the small quarter ounce with a number one hook on here with a one inch shad white so we're gonna we're gonna play him around oh buck you don't need two on this guy maybe we do let's see how she's working I like to just kind of bounce them off the bottom, let them roll for a little bit, get a couple of tail whips in there, drop them down like an injured fish. You want an injured minnow, basically. Little tuckered out, he's hurt, he flops around, and he hits the bottom, and he's easy prey. That's kind of how I. Oh, we missed him. We missed him right there. All right, guys. I'm gonna play in here for a little bit and see if we can get him out of here. Be right back. <clears throat> well, guys, I stand corrected on the retrieve process for these guys on this waterway. We're gonna keep this guy. He's only a two pounder, but working it on the bottom was not getting me anything. So I went to a twitch uh, just like you know again I'm thinking to myself pike buck or pike get get in the middle of the water column you know so they come up and hit from underneath and that's exactly I just got bass uh oh and I moved over from my spot right there I just I just I'm throwing this lane right here right now so just threw in there and well I've been working and I grabbed a bass and a and a pickerel. Them birds keep flying right in my damn face. But I'm just working this thing as a twitch. Middle of the water column at this point. I 
on a one speed and basically I'm working the same as a casting lure. I got off the bottom with it trying to work it as a wound fish. It was, I mean, yeah, I was catching bass, but I'm not catching any pickerel that way. So, I went. <clears throat> Changed up to this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fish it this way for a while and see if we can grab this three pounder out of here real quick. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, <clears throat> I moved back over here to the other hole and decided to run that type of cast retrieve. This is a bass, damn it. Oh well, trophy, but not what we're looking for. I'll be back. Oh, God. 3.2. <laughs> Ouch. However, I want to let you know what, what I've been doing here while I've been away. We'll keep him. He's missed him by 100. So. Wow. Right, actually, we were at 3.28. 3.31. Um, I was... I started down the line here, guys, and just throwing every damn pole. Um, just trying to, because I want to, because each pole is different, the way it retrieves, just so you, you the retrieve will be different. And <clears throat> I was trying to just get anything that would get into a rhythm and I could catch a couple of fish, more than one here, one there. So I was throwing everything. Now what I noticed was that this yellow, I was, I was getting some hits on on the yellow and but it the bait caster is a very you know it's recovery is only 19.5 on this thing so I was running it on triple speed um, on three and just tugging it but I, I caught some fish on it all right on that yellow one where's it at here this chain I, I caught a chain pickerel on that thing so but I, I thought then, well, let me go back to my spinning rod with a little better, with a little better recovery on it. All right, so now I'm, I'm, I'm working a 38 instead of a 19. Then I switched up um, to the yellow with a red tail, and I just grabbed, I just grabbed that one right away, right there, the trophy. So we're going to. We're going to stay here a little bit. This was the first cast I threw in and I grabbed him up. So we'll see what we do here. Maybe we'll get to the next one. We'll make it. All right. I'll be right back. What we got here, fellas? Oh, my goodness. Broke the flathead catfish. Well, <laughs> we'll take him on a six inch sad. <laughs> Thank goodness I had my river spear in my hand. Well, that's money in the bank. He'll help pay the bills. All right, guys. We still ain't got him. I got a lot of... I got a lot of... Dang pickerel here, but I ain't got the one we need. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Wow. We got him. Unique chain pickerel. I think he's a little bigger than the 3.3 pounds. But we'll take him. That gets him off the list, and we're headed to White Moose after this. I think I made enough money here. Okay, guys, I made it here <clears> to <throat> White Moose. We're in Alberta, Canada, and we're going after, we need a Northern Pike, 11.1 .1 pounds, or 10, uh, five, five kilograms on 11.1, .1, yeah, five kilograms on this guy. All right, so the Northern Pike, if you fish here, we all catch them, you know, they're, they're right in this area, right up here. All through here, kind of throw over that tree that's laying down here in the water on the corner here, and you just drop her into over here and just fish this hole up over here. I guess you could probably take a boat. I don't know how far you can walk down over here, but you might be able to walk down here. I never tried that, actually. Hm. Anyway, we're gonna spawn in right over here, to the damn road, let's go. Go fishing. All right. 
There we are. Well, Buck, we don't want that rod. Not for the, not for the eleven pounder. We're gonna put that away. Let's see. We're going after an eleven pounder. Well, I guess we'll start off with our. We'll start off with our chip. Let's see what he does. We got. We got. What do we got on there? Three aught. Okay. That's kind of small on the hole, but we'll throw out there. That that should be a northern pike spot out there anyway. That that boy we got. Uh oh, Buck. Look what you did there now. First one out of the hole today. Not good. Alright, let's get out there and see if we can get us a northern pike. He's deep here. But we don't want to fish it all the way at the bottom, so. Uh -uh. May end up at the bottom here, Buck. Hmm. Nothing on the first cast. That's usually the lucky one. The first cast. Alright guys, well, this is where we're going to catch him, so I'm going to keep slamming at it until I get him. We'll be right back. Well, we hooked up with our first one here, fellas. Eh, this is my third cast. But... He ain't nowhere near 11 pounds, I don't think. <laughs> and... Oh, this... This is a pike. Oh, four pounder. Alright. We'll keep him. I think we're gonna beef up our stick a little bit. This three-odd hook ain't gonna get us an 11 pounder. So... Let's... There we go. It's time. Time for the rib. Rose and white. All right, we nabbed him. I nabbed him right here. So we're gonna go at. We're gonna go at him with a little, a little bigger gear. I'm gonna play around and catch a whole bunch of small ones. So we'll run this this rib shad for a while and see what we get. I'll be right back. We're getting bigger, fellas. We're up to six pounders now, so hopefully the next one will be the one we want. Let's see. We'll find out. I, I moved up to back. I went back again to the river spear with a six inch frozen white on it. So I'm dragging him across the top. You don't want to go too deep because then you pick up on the salmon in this spot because that spot's pretty deep out there. So I've been trying to just start working it right away as soon as it hits and keep it in the top, top half of the water column. Don't let it get too deep. And that seems to be where I'm kept in the pipe. So we'll be back. 6-4. We're getting there. Guys, I jumped in my boat. Got a better angle out here. You know, fishing this waterway. I can fish it in all the different directions. I'm not just pulling everything straight back towards. So, I've actually caught two here. So, we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep firing at it until we grab him. He's in here.
we'll get it. Be right back. Fellas, 10.78. Yeah, it's the hair. You little. All right. I'm just basically throwing back that way and pulling, pulling it towards me. That's We've got two nice ones, three nice ones over here, but we ain't got the one we want yet. He's coming up. All right, guys. I'll be right back. There he is, guys. Very next catch. Thank you very much. We'll take him. Nice 13 pounders. All right. Let's see now. That takes care of him off the list. So we got Watchman Lake done. We got White Moose done. We are headed to St. Croix for the last two, guys. St. Croix. All right. Let's keep this guy. Let's see where we're at on our fish keeper here. Look. 6996. Hmm. Ain't quite made enough money yet, fellas. But as you can see, we did got some fish in that little bit of time that we've been there. Not too bad for up in here. 13 10 pounder. Alright guys, well, I'm gonna hang around for a little bit. I'm probably gonna go go on down to the dock over there and fish for some lake trout until I can make enough money here. I could be able to grab a couple of them, make what I need, and then I will see you guys in St. Croix. Okay guys, fuck here. <clears throat> I stopped off back at the bait shop. I realized something here. I, I, I didn't quite set my sticks up quite appropriately for the end game here, these last two fish. So, let's jump over there and uh, take a look at what I'm talking about here. So what 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 we, what we got running here is I'm running this uh, I'm running the Fire X cast, okay? And we got the purple purple ribbed on him, Chad. And then I, I got the um, Lux Caster Advanced Edition with the fishing with him. Okay, he's a 23 pounder. Now this guy here is a 62 pounder. Now we're going after a 22 and a 33 pound fish. Now this stick here might be a little bit overkill. This stick here is going to be a little bit underkill. So what I did was I dumped out on the nine pound bait caster I had in slot five, and I picked up my topwater kayak uh, infinity cast five three. Now this is a thirty three pounder. This guy should handle both of these fish. So um, we're we're going to start off with the lux caster and. You know we're gonna we're gonna try to catch that 22 pounder real fast. Uh, you know, and I got a black six inch black shad running on him um, with a six odd six odd hook on this guy. And now on number seven, we're running a four odd hook, two ounce with a six inch rib purple shad. Now I loaded this guy up with a two ounce six odd hook, um, the ribbed acid green shad. Okay, so that's that's what we're gonna do. Um, got my license, so we're headed to St. Croix here. Hello, get over here, fella. There we are. We're going to St. Croix. So, with that, we made our change at the bait shop. I will see you guys at St. Croix. All right, guys, <clears throat> I made it. But, you know, as Buck always does, here we go. Um, let's go take a look at the inventory. Duh. Look at boat I brought. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Um, we're going down to Pike Alley in in my Flagman Sagata motorboat. And we're going to land ourselves 33-pound pike musky out of here. Well, or we could take the kayak, either one. But I'm not going back. Not not for the cost of this travel, not without making a little money, so we're catching them out of this critter right here. All right, well, <clears throat> we know where we gotta go fish, guys, right? We're going down here, we gotta catch 22 pound pike. We're going down here at Pike Alley. That's all, we're just gonna, we're gonna fish in here until we grab them up out of here, that's cause that's where they live. So we're gonna spawn in 
at the boat. Uh oh, you better change your room there, Buck. Okay, let's go fishing, and uh, I'll see you down at the boat dock, fellas. All right, we're here. Ah, beautiful. St. Croix, Michigan. Sun's coming up. Five o'clock in the morning. Mm, sweet. It's always a little hazy here in the morning. Nice and quiet, though. Well, we're about to interrupt that quiet with this loudmouth rattle trap that we got here. Well, fellas, this is going to be a half an hour journey for me. So, when, when I get us over here to, uh, <laughs> to Pike Alley, oh, I can't even start the thing, I'm so worked up. Oh, this is going to be a lot of fun, huh, in this boat. Alright, guys, well, it won't take us too long to get over there. I fished out of this for, oh, believe me, first time I was on this waterway, I had one of these. Actually, it was this boat right here. <laughs> this boat's real familiar with St. Croix. Of course, though, here's the problem. <clears throat> I've latched onto a big pike in here. We're gonna have to be very careful. Because I've latched onto a big pike in here, and that critter took me all the way out, out through the channel right over there to the right. Out, out into the open water, and I finally lost him, you know, 55 minutes later. I fought him for 55 minutes. Hell of a fight. Loved it. But I didn't land him. But it didn't take too long to get down here, now did it? I love this little boat. Alright, we're down here. I don't even know where to start. Well, we're after the big ones. We're after big musky. Well, you know where that is. There's only one spot where the big musky live, and we're there. I forgot how fast this little critter is. Now over there on the right hand side is the northern pool. Calm her down, Buck. There we go. Alright guys. Now over there on the left, that's clear musky over there. That's Union trophies over there. Over there on the right. Give you guys a little bit. Have you seen my you seen my videos for St. Croix? You know all these spots, because I mark them all out. Hey, where did Help me. Did my trophy go? Could have been, you know, put a little speed on that thing, Buck. She ain't turning around. You know this thing don't turn around slowly. Gotta, gotta be on the gas. Oh, it's up here. I missed it. I didn't go far enough. Here it is around this corner. There it is. That's big northern pike in there. But we're gonna fish in here, fellas. This is where the musky are. Yep. We're going to see how this goes. That's far. We got casting rods, so you know, we ain't got... We don't got a long range with these guys. Well, we're here. I'm going to jump in the tackle box here. <clears throat> Decide what weapon we're gonna use. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys. <clears throat> After a long thought process here, <laughs> I've decided to go with the Lux Caster here. We're gonna go with the 23 pounder. <laughs> Six inch. Oh, look, it's blowing up in there. Six inch black shad on a six auto hook. One and one sixteenth ounce. Big head. Now the two speed is definitely not fast enough for in here. Well, it's alright, we gotta hung up on some weeds now. We can get her adjusted. We're just gonna pull my damn boat all the way in. No, I don't want to. Let's kick her up to three. Let's toss her in over here. Which it's always blowing up. There we go. Well, it looks like three is where we're gonna have to be. <clears throat> All right. That seems to be controlling my 
I'm sad, but we need to back up. We are definitely too far, too close. All right, guys, I'll be right back. We got the we got the right stick down. We're hooked up with the first one, fellas. Twenty-three pound pull. Oh, amazing buck! This could be our twenty-two one right off the. Oh, he is kind of. Ah, he ain't. Hmm. Nope. Only ten tiger musky. Well, I guess a tiger musky would count, huh? Wouldn't it? No. Alright, well, what are we gonna do here now? You're all the way in here. This is what I like about this boat though. We might as well just bounce around in here and fish. We'll catch them. I ain't gonna keep backing up every time. They're in there and now I'm down in here. They'll get used to me being here. Hell, that was the first. Oh, there we go. They're liking my six inch shad, I see. That'll back us back out. Uh oh, easy buck. Just get him to get your boat back out of there, that's all. Don't catch him yet, use him. Uh oh, going the wrong way now, dang it. I'm gonna mess my boat up. There we go. Pull the boat back. I'm not ready to catch you. Oh, damn. What we got there, fellas? Let's get this boat turned around so we can fight this guy the right way. There we go. Ah, no, look what you did, Buck. You lost him. Damn. Well, that just sucks a rat's ass, doesn't it? That got me fired up. Damn, dude. That's how we're gonna play this game. Okay. guys <clears throat> now what are you doing buck I know you're mad I know you're mad calm down quit throwing the damn pole around like an idiot well you can see what's happened here so buck needs to uh obviously he needs to calm down if he's throwing the pole all over the place everywhere he's a little bit angry so we got another one. I didn't. And this is probably a northern pipe buck. Turn the boat, damn it. Come on, fish. Aw, oh, don't do that to me. I'm not liking this pole much. Hmm. Yeah, not the fish we want. All right, guys, I'm gonna be here. Obviously, we must have hit a good time of day. <clears throat> I'll be right back with a muskie. Well, guys, <clears throat> wasn't quite a 33 pounder, and it wasn't a muskie either. <laughs> but we grabbed ourselves up a Uni Northern bite. That'll pay the bills. 
We'll be back. Well, fellas, there's our trophy muskie, 38.61 on. Of course, I just jumped in here tonight and just got started, and I wasn't tracking the mission here, so um, we should be okay. To, we should be good to go here. This should clear out the 22-pounder and the 33-pounder, so we'll see what happens when we, uh, when we hit the keep button. There it is, Mission of Compass, Pike Hunt 2, Shad Jig Bait, Rufus Single Spoon, one and a half ounce, four eye. Very sweet. Nice XP there. Claim. And we'll claim him. Claim the trophy Martin. Get that in our backpack. Alright, nicely done. Alright, fellas. <clears throat> well, I was out there. Throwing right in. So, I was out in the middle. I dropped her in right here. Dropped her in right here. Pulled it back that way. Uh, I'd say probably hit somewhere right around in here. Cause I, I threw, I threw, like I said, I threw in right in here. And I was pulling this way. So, I, I got a couple of cranks in on him. So, I'd say probably hit somewhere right in here. But, uh... See here. Got, uh, got, got a couple. Uh-oh, what happened there? Okay. Cortana decided to take over my system. All right, there we go. We're back. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Unique Northern. But you know what, guys? Um, the black shad. I was throwing this pink shad a lot. And all of a sudden it just died. It completely dead. I wasn't catching nothing, no bite. But I switched over to the black shad, third cast on the black, and uh, we pick we we picked that 38 pounder up right there. So that was pretty sweet. All right, guys, what's what's the next mission on our list? Trophy bass one, the bass jig. All right, sweet. We're going after some bass. Where are we going? Hot water. Falcon. The heron. All right. Let's say the bass on falcon are very big. Nor on mud water. <laughs> Nor the heron to be that. But it's all it's all low level lakes, guys. So this is a good one for us. We can we can bang out this lower trophy bass. The trophy bass one. All right, guys. <clears throat> over here buck well that does it guys for the mastering pike hunt too <clears throat> so hope you got something out of that if you did remember hit that like button hit the subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and a little bell there notify you and you get notified when i put a new video out and remember every sunday nights we do the we do the bait shop and we're live for half an hour from 7 to 7 30 that's eastern standard time and then we do the fishing with buck on Sunday nights from 8 to 10. <clears throat> and we have a lot of fun with that one. Uh, we travel all over the place, depends. Depends on what I what I happen to be into for that week. All right, guys. Well, <clears throat> hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, never ever give up the fight. We'll see you later. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>